by being in love with the text, by making by making our relate by making her relationship with the text the primary thing. You know, I don't want to. Of course, as soon as you say something, then you know, I'm not saying you know put your leave your family commitments and all the rest of that stuff. But I really think that for for most preachers, one of the biggest struggles we have with preaching is that we just don't love the text anymore. Mm -hmm. You know, we are so ragged, run ragged, and, and um, so overcommitted and so consumed with so many other things in ministry that we are not nurturing the primary thing. Maybe it's because I've been married for 20 years now, you know, and I, and I know what it takes. You know, I know, I know something about um, longevity of relationships and how these things ebb and flow and the work that it takes to nurture this stuff. I don't think the, you know, the relationship with the text is any different. Hmm. I think um, that when preachers get into a place where it's where they're really dry, they're feeling really dry, like they're just not seeing anything. It's um, most of the time, it's a case of of not being, you know, not writer's block or all of those other things, but of just being empty, you know, just being so filled with all other stuff that they can't they can't see anything anymore. As if, you know, as if, um, you know, if you work 80-hour weeks, you can't expect your relationships at home to be nurturing or solid or good in any, any respect. I mean, I love that thing that um, Anne Lamott says about writer's block being a misnomer. You know, if you think you're blocked about that, it's not that. You're just empty. You have to be empty. You have to get filled back up again because, you know, if your wife locks you out of the house, you don't have trouble with your door. <laughs> so for most, I, one of the things I yearn for for preachers is a way to figure out how um, they can get back into um, a more nurturing, you know, a, a, a fuller relationship with this word so that the, so that you don't feel, I mean, have you ever had that feeling when you're really tired and it's time to prepare a sermon and you feel like the text is holding out on you? You know, how can you be in relationship with anything, anyone, if you feel like the other party is holding out on you? So what, what can we do to, um, to nurture something that's different so that there's um, a greater sense of trust, a greater sense of the ebb and the flow of these things. and I think a preacher who's really in love with the Word is not someone who needs to master it or tame it or explain it or um, dominate it. A preacher who's in love with the Word is able to just let the Word be the subject and not the preacher. You know, um, a preacher who's in love with the Word is um, someone, I think, who wants more than anything to give this amazing gift to these people. You know, bread, not stone. Uh, a preacher who's in love with the word um, does not mean need to be God. <laughs>